energy and power in a circuit. So when you close the switch in a circuit, you make it a complete circuit, and the potential difference across the battery makes the charges move. We've kind of already talked about this, all right? So just as water flows downward due to a difference in gravitational potential energy, electric current flows from high to low potential due to a voltage or an electric potential difference. We're actually gonna start out by talking about power, which if you remember was energy per time. And if you think about the fact that current is charged per time, you can see that power is probably gonna be related to current. And it is, power equals current times voltage. So that will give you the power output of say a battery. The total power output of the battery must equal the power used by the rest of the circuit. So we'll get to applying this particular equation to circuit elements later. For now, just think of this as a conservation law. Speaking of, a circuit is a closed system. So we know that the energy provided by the battery must be transformed by the time current gets back to the battery. In the battery, it converts chemical potential energy to high electric potential energy at the positive terminal. So in an energy diagram, all right, this is what it might look like. You'd have all electrical energy right here. In an ideal circuit, we say that the wires have no resistance and so current flows freely. It costs no energy to move through the wires. Real life, that's not true, but this is simple circuits. All right, and then we hit the light bulb. Well, we see light come out of it and we know that it lights up because it gets a little bit hot. So you have thermal and light energy. Remember from energy diagrams last semester, I made these in Excel, so it's hard to actually get the total numbers to add up. If you think that the scale on the bottom one should be um, half that of the one on the top left, so the total energy here must be the same as it was leaving the battery. Sorry about the scale. Anyway, so the energy coming out of the battery has to get used up here because the rest of the circuit only has a wire, which remember costs us no energy for electricity to move through. So you take the whole circuit, so in the battery, electric potential energy comes from chemical potential energy, and then until I get to a resistor, all right, and then I'm going to have light and heat, and then I will have no electric potential energy left by the time I get back to the negative terminal of the battery, and then the cycle starts over again.